Hello everyone. So today we will start our question area of very long HDL. So very long HDL. HDL full form stands for hardware description manual. So it will describe the uh, hardware of uh, whatever function you have designed that in this language. So it's the easiest language so that you can easily write compared to other languages. So for example, Java. So there is no dedicated uh, hardware functions in Java or any other language, C, C++. Unlimited um, uh, hardware functions are there in C, like that. But this very long hardware language is dedicated for only hardware design. So we will see today. So what is the uh, so these are the contents of our PPT. So these are the contents of our today's PPT. So first we'll see the evaluation of computer AI design tool. So in previously in 1947, uh, the first transistor found by Shockey, Varden and Brett. Uh, Bell Labs and uh, after that they made a single circuit then they found for a small scale integration and uh, it's become a seamless logic in 1960-63 and after that they found first microprocessor in 1970s after that the very large scale integration KMR means the more than 20,000 devices means uh, uh, more than 100 uh, kilo gates in these circuits. Uh, when you are going for any design, the complexity, for example, in your logic design line, if you are having a uh, few gates like NAND gate or gate or any basic gates, okay? so if you are having uh, 8 gates, then it's very easy to design your circuits but when complexity increases the whatever circuits the extra area you require then there is a decrease in speed then the power dissipation also increases due to this one so manually you cannot design that circuits if it is millions of transistors or billions of transistors like that so this is the evolution of just transistor oh. so there is a two types of hdl uh, vhdl and very long hdl vhdl stands for very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language in very long hdl yeah, hardware description language so in 1980s it uh, US Department of Defense they started uh, a new project so that a unique language required for hardware design. So you cannot write hardware using Java or C or any other language portals like that. So instead of that one, they started uh, uh, creating a new language. So they are given a um, License to these three companies, IBM, TA, and Intermetrics. After that, in 1985, they found this VHD language first, uh, and it's got standardized as a version 7.2. After that, in 1986, it's standardized with IEEE, which is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Association. So, whatever standardization procedures are there, in IEEE uh, and in 1980 sorry, 1993 so again it got standardized they included some more packages like user defined uh, inputs you can give in um, as STDN score logic 1165 this is the package version 
so this is the history of VHDL and uh, the history of uh, Verilog HDL in 1983 the gateway design automata they found first language so of Verilog HDL and uh, after that in 1980s so it take the company whatever GDA so purchased by Cadence and they developed the Verilog HDL after that in 1995 it got standardized so this is the uh, history of HDN so this is the brief description of uh, uh, HDL design so in 1980s the only basic things added to HDL after that they have announced that HDL language in 1990s by adding synthesis or conversion to get level all these things after that in 2000 they added advanced features like power area and uh, timing analysis so whenever you are designing any complex system or any subsystem so these things you have to remember we are going for a digital design so here you have to remember that hierarchy regularity modularity and locality hierarchy means the you can start with your module by starting with simple gates and you can build a complex system or you can start with uh, top end and you can convert that into small gates like the structures then regularity so when you are going for complex system so you can give a smaller blocks like similar blocks simple blocks you can build that blocks and you can make a complex system means that whatever you have created blocks should be similar like uh, it has to standardize and mo modularity so various functional blocks which make the larger system must have well defined function and interface and look locality the whatever interconnection you are giving inside the blocks should should not have a longer distance communication or avoid longer distance connection like that so this is the typical digital design flow so when you are going for working in HDL either CAD tools or EDA tools so this flow you have to remember so this flow is similar to your digital electronics lab so whatever you are designing in digital electronics lab similar flow here also so first one is here design specification so in HDL lab also or digital electronics lab also same thing so first you will give a specification like 4 bit full ladder 1 bit full ladder or counter these are the statement for specification after that in uh, electronics lab digital electronics lab you are going to start with truth table then truth table to you will solve that truth table either by kmap or quinn mccleskey methods or any other methods and you will get a boolean expression boolean expression to you will convert that boolean expression into circuit level after that that circuit you will rig up in a your uh, nodes and you will get a connection you will get a ICs and this ICs are connected by patch cores and you will test that one in using logic trainer kit and that's the output of this one same similar here also so instead of going directly hardware or discrete component here you have a EDA tool or CAD tool computer added design tool or electronics design automata tools are there available so whatever you are written in English in HDL that is converted into behavioral description and that code whatever code is there you have written is converted into RTL register transfer logic and that code is again converted in 
converted into gate level net lift before that one so gate level you have a verification so you have to verify your uh, functions in HDL that is called functional verification if you want to design some AND gate so whether the output is AND gate or not you can verify in this testing and after that you will convert that language into gate level gate level at least means whatever you are written english words should be converted into hardware like gates so either nand gate nor gate whatever gates basic gates are there or any flip flops like structure after that again you can uh, verify that one it is called logical verification and after that you will convert logical verify if it is clear then we will go for flow plan and place in route here after that so if your design is feg then you will dump your code into feg field programmable gate array and uh, you will verify that one if it is uh, if you want to go for a application specific integrated circuit then you will go for further physical layout design then physical layout verification then implementation the final output is the integrated circuit here either you will go for back end design or front end design front end design you are calling as a feg design back end design as a asic design so hdl give very important things to us so instead of going conventional design like k map or uh, any circuit design manually so you can save a lot of time here and uh, you can convert any level to any level for example uh, gate level to transistor level conversion or uh, data flow level or behavioral level into gate level all these things possibilities are there here and you can do verification also instead of manual verification you can do directly in tool verification and uh, it's a design for the uh, hardware design so whatever hardware either microcontroller or microprocessor you can design it whatever complexity is there using this language compared to vhdl very log hdl is very popular so after 2000, uh, the Verilog HDL got very popular. So because of it's very easy to learn and you write the program. So it's similar like a C structure. So who are knowing the basic language of C, easily they can write this language compared to VHDL. And uh, Verilog actually allows different levels of abstraction to mix it in the same model. It means you have different types of modeling, either gate level, data flow, or behavioral description or switch level description. So you can have this one, or you can mix in the same model. Different different abstractions or different different application. And you can have a logic synthesis also. You can directly write output as a gate level or uh, transistor level or switch level like that directly. And uh, you can provide different different libraries. You can create your own libraries here also. And you can send that library to fabricate vendors and then program language interface as a powerful feature so that if you want to uh, do some program like communication system you have MATLAB program and DSP processor you can embed it this HDL language into that processor also you can convert it like that feature also there some of the trends in HDL so that's why it's um, got most popular language so already we have discussed this one so design in HDL at RTL level register transfer level 
formal verification techniques, mixed gate level and system level mixed up bottom up or top down design also possible here. This is the structure of Verilog model language. So it consists of seven parts. Here, first one is top one. It will start with begin with model name. It's like a similar to C. So you are starting with open bracket. Similar to that structure here, model name, open bracket like. After that, you are required declaration like integer, all these things. Uh, here, you will declare ports first. After that, some wires, registers. Then you can start with either data flow statement or behavior or switch level like description. Then you can write structural description also. Or instead of if you want, don't want any design, you can write test bench also. Test testing purpose also you can done here. And uh, always initial blocks you have to write here after this one. So real description. Then you can write task and functions. Then you can call that task and functions in main. Is it like macros in microcontroller? Unit. And uh, end of this module end with end module. There is no space between end and module here. So like uh, close bracket in C. You are doing no. So similar to that open bracket is module name close bracket is end statement line the program look like this this is a program of very long hdl program so the module module name here module name is or gate and these are the a b c r inputs and outputs ports declaration so or gate consists of three ports a b and c as a output like this is the functionality and end with end module like so this is the end of this first part of module one okay next part is continued by savita madam